so we have eaten and now we are going to find the track just for the small lake so I'm going to try and film that first lots and lots and lots and lots of cloudberry flowers Here is the small lake. <laughs> I could have sat here actually. Could have been sitting here. I just walked for five minutes and <laughs> here it was. Well, well. It was nice where we were too. How nice. Look at this. I'm going to stay away from the edges of this uh, little lake because I think there might be a lot of birds in the in the tall grass there. So let's see if we can find a track. Let's go here, Rago. 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 <coughs> Should be right up here. That's where I heard the people before. Yeah. Okay, let's walk here, Rago. Rago. <laughs> I'm speaking English now, so I can't even pronounce his name correctly. Hmm. Lovely little lake. My plan now is to follow this track for a while and then when it um, there is somewhere where the ski uh, trail or track uh, crosses over and then they separate again so they sort of go together for a, a while and then they separate again and that's where I want to try to follow the ski trail because then I'll come to some areas that I would like to film okay, so this is where the ski trail comes from here I don't know if you can see that red marking on the birch tree there and then it comes onto the trail that I'm following now. They go together for a little while and then separate again. Or maybe I was wrong. But yes, no, <laughs> I was right. Here is where the ski trail goes straight ahead and the walking trail goes here to the left. 
even have painted blue arrows on the trees there. But I'm going to go. I'm going to be really crazy now. Follow the ski trail. <laughs> Real anarchist. I don't want to be directed in the blue direction. No blue pill hair, only red pill. <laughs> We skied many, many times this winter. This is my favorite ski trail. Um, if I choose between the ones that I can reach from my home without taking the car, without driving. There is a little lake too. Which of course you can't see that in winter because <clears throat> frozen over and covered with snow. So lovely when the sun comes out and shines on the leaves. Uh, I don't know if it looks like that on film, but uh, it's almost shiny. It's so so green that it ref the sun is reflected on the leaves. Here is a very fun area of the Wet here. Fun area of the ski trail because here is very difficult or uh, challenging area. It's downhill, but <laughs> with little chance to really um, break the speed or slow down the speed because it's narrow. So. I have fallen here quite a few times. Probably wouldn't if it hadn't been for the Agu, because he pulls so hard, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops, almost stumbled. No, I'm not going to blame you, Agu. I'm a good skier, but you know, everyone has their limits. So this is where I, or we met the snowmobile this winter. I don't know if you remember, any of you remember that. We met the snowmobile and fortunately I heard it. So I was able to stop and go out to the side so that he could pass. It's typical that you meet the snowmobile or the big, big, big track maker in a place where it's difficult to um, to pass. But you know, it went well, so nothing to complain about. Here is probably the most difficult oops, part. 
here. I could probably position the camera down a little bit again. So, no, I keep doing it the wrong way. So, yeah, the dog was pulling full force now, too. Down here we go. My knees are a bit affected by uh, walking with Husky for many years and before we had Rago we had a Samoyed which is also a sled dog so oops, <laughs> they pull very hard too so, but you know I don't know if my knees are affected by that or maybe by the fact that I walked in the mountains with a very heavy backpack for many 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 summers Who knows? The knees are a bit weak. Oops! Drago! <laughs> oh, I don't know if I caught that on film, but he jumped into a ditch and it was very deep. But he managed to get out himself. I didn't have to save him. He got a bit more wet than he planned for, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So here is... I don't think I've actually ever walked here in the summer before. But here is a bit sort of a wetter area. Wow, it's beautiful here. It's really beautiful. And here, when we come to this part, it's almost like a sort of tunnel. Oh, here comes an airplane right over our heads. Yeah. It's SAS. <laughs> so when we ski here, it's Almost like going through a tunnel in the winter. Dago, don't hunt. Come on. No, no. If you eat mice, you just get a very bad parasite infestation in your tummy. It smells so good when you are out in the forest in the summer. It's difficult to explain, it's just like sun baked, fresh, very lovely smell. And if it's raining, it's, it, that has its own smell too, different smell. Like, of course, even fresher and... Yeah.
I just thought I would end this video here at this lake.